Choose you this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It's time for a bird video! The 30,500 acres of land Disney was eyeing was cheap for now. But if word got out that the Disney Corporation was looking to buy lands to build a new resort, prices would undoubtedly surge, potentially adding tens of millions of dollars in cost to the project. Thus, Disney World would have to be planned in absolute secrecy. No one outside of the organization could know about the park. Well, he was checking the cave out just a moment ago. Cut a little bit of footage. around uh, destroying neighborhoods and using violence to achieve a political goal right which is literally exactly what they're trying to condemn right now right they're trying to condemn the threat of violence right or violence to uh, essentially uh, achieve a political Look at him, goal of trying to change policy in schools but for whatever reason all last year that was okay right the mainstream liberal media endorsed that when it came to BLM and T. And, and it really blows my mind that um, you know, the mainstream media is, is running this narrative, right? And this school board is essentially asking the FBI to label uh, parents as domestic terrorists when the FBI guys, they don't even track and monitor Antifa's activity. Matter of fact, take a look at this clip from Miss Representative Nancy Mace pressing the uh, FBI this week on if they track anything Antifa does. Take a look. Uh, category or subcategory of domestic terrorism, would that include groups like Antifa or Black Lives Matter, uh, folks who commit violence or acts of domestic terrorism? Well, we don't identify uh, groups of uh, like individuals' actions, so if individuals uh, are committing actions that would be in furtherance of anti-government or uh, anarchist ideals, then they would fall into that category. So would you quantify Antifa as an anti anarchist group then under that subcategory? I mean, it's an anarchist group, right? Or related? There are individuals, uh, the director has previously described them as a movement, um, and there have been individuals that have associated or identified with uh, Antifa that have con uh, conducted uh, violent acts that we would categorize as anarchist how many acts of violence or domestic terrorism has Antifa committed over the last two years? Since we don't uh, categorize Antifa, nor do we uh, uh, calculate or, or uh, collate information regarding Antifa, that movement, I, I, we don't have that. Uh, but we could provide you information on anarchist uh, threats and cases in general. How many... Uh how many open cases of anarchist violence and domestic terrorism uh, have occurred over the last two years? Uh, so we have, as far as arrest, acti uh, arrest, arrest activities for the anti-government, anti-authority, um, we have uh, 75 total arrests, and within that would be the uh, uh, anti-government, 36 being uh, of anti-government and 21 being militia violence. And that's all part of our anti-government authority. Okay, and um, interesting. I mean, it's Antifa's real. Uh, it's not a myth. All right, guys, so you see that? You heard that? When the FBI director is pressed on uh, whether or not uh, Antifa, right, or BLM, like, how, how do they classify, you know, their acts of domestic terrorism, dude's just like, eh, eh not really worried about them that much, right? We, we don't really classify groups like that as uh, domestic terrorism. I mean, we, we may look at individual acts. You know, and go from there. Basically, what he's saying is that they're not on our radar. We don't really care about them that much. That's what he's saying. Even though, again, we, we've seen um, so much footage of the violence and destruction that have been caused by those two groups. 
over the last year, right? We we know that they've caused billions of dollars of damage. Okay, we see them burn down neighborhoods, loot, riot. You know, uh, people have lost their lives. And again, in my opinion, all of what happened last year was the uh, largest domestic terror event that we've ever seen in this country's history. But for whatever reason, mainstream liberal media, FBI is like, eh, I don't know, right? Like, there's not really anything to worry about. However, when it comes to parents protesting at a school board over policies that their schools are implementing and pushing on children that they don't agree with, oh, we need the FBI's help. These people are domestic terrorists, right? They're domestic threats. Ain't it crazy how that works, man? This is how the mainstream liberal media operates, guys. This is how they brainwash people into believing that there are certain groups of people in this country that are threats, right? And there's other people that's not. Regardless of, you know, the, the, the actions, okay? Regardless of that, right? Two sides, two different sides can do the same exact thing. They can commit the same exact uh, act. Answer the phone, Joshua!